Hey guys, uh, John here with a review for you on the iTunes Wi-Fi store on the iPhone. Um, I met a couple things. Sorry the video is a little shaky. I took the video with my uh, digital camera. Still getting used to it. Um, and also I mentioned, um, or I make mention to the video I made of the software update to 1.1.1 on the iPhone that I didn't post because it was really long and really boring. So there's the answer to that question. I um, might talk about that a little bit. Uh, anyway guys, enjoy. Go ahead and ask whatever questions you have. Thanks for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, in case anybody's wondering, I'm wearing the hat because baseball playoffs start tomorrow. Alright guys, talk to you soon. Bye. Alright guys, as promised, I'm going to walk you through the new iTunes Wi-Fi store. Uh, on the iPhone. The first thing I want to show you before I do that is one of the new cool new things that the software update 1.1.1 did it has to do with the Bluetooth headset. If you look right up at the top of the phone right there you can see a um, icon now for the headset. So if I go into um, a menu for example you can see it a lot clearer. Um, a little blurry. But uh, right up there it tells me how much battery life is left in the headset which is nice. It didn't do that before. Okay, so now let me walk you through a purchase on the iTunes Wi-Fi store. So, I will just go to purchase, or go to iTunes Wi-Fi. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network at home. Uh, it's on downloaded, but I can click on featured. And it pulls up a whole menu here of new releases at the top, what's hot, and uh, genres. So I don't know what song I want to download here. Um, and at the bottom, I have across here, featured, top 10, search, and downloads and uh, right now you can only download music and you can only do it over Wi-Fi so that means no TV shows, no movies um, and you can't do it on Singular's Edge network not that you'd want to so let's see if there's a song that I want here um, I don't even know who any of these people are alright let's check what's hot Reba McIntyre, Eddie Vedder, Chameleonaire uh, Pat Monahan actually just bought that album. Nicole something. Um, check genres here. Uh, let's go to rock. Mm. Let's see. All right, it's fine. I don't know the song, but Nickelback. Let's download that song. So let's click it, and it pulls up a whole album. So let's say. Here's all the songs in the album. Let's say I want to hear a sample of it. I want to hear one from the first song here, Follow You Home. So I'll click it. And there we go. I think it's a 30 second sample. So let's stop it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, buy a song here. What song sounds good? Um, all right, let's just download the first song, Follow You Home. So I'll click it. Pulls up a little buy now thing. I'll click buy now. Goes to download, asking me for my password. So I will type that in here. You guys look away over here. Alright, password been typed in. Hit OK. Just gonna type the password in right. And notice downloads goes to one. Click it. And if you look just in that time, the song is almost already downloaded. Finished. <laughs> so the song downloaded in what seven seconds, eight seconds, real quick. So now the song is in my iPod. Ask me if I go to Nickelback. Nickelback, and there's the song. Follow you home. So now let's show you how to get it from your iPhone to your computer. So I'll take the iPhone, put it in the dock here. Docked. I already have iTunes open. Opens up iPhoto again. Close iPhoto. Okay, I now have on my computer a purchased on John's iPhone uh, folder, which has all my purchased music in it. I will hit sync down here. And John's iPhone syncing, syncing contacts, syncing bookmarks, transferring purchased music. Updating purchase music, follow you home, and that's it. It's there. So now if I go to my music, search for Nickelback. Where is it? Nickelback. Nickelback, follow you home. There it is. There's a the song. 
that we just bought. Couldn't be any easier than that with the album art. I don't know if the song sucks or not, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, guys, that's how easy the new um, iTunes Wi-Fi is. I'm actually really impressed with how easy it is. And the right to the speaker is now much, 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 much louder um, after the software update. And again, my software update was real easy. You can check out on the video. I hadn't hacked the iPhone, so it was a, uh, was a piece of cake. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.